Mighty Mage. That's what he says. I mean, if you uh, have 2k, and put the pressure on the Deuce just yet. Hard to man up into the Maiden with the Phoenix here. Oh, Jab's dead. Pulls it back, but a long range swipe from Ame still goes through. Not just, just Midas or something. Just because he can't get any charges. Yeah. Going for jabs now. He prelays a torrent, but it doesn't actually land. XM sidesteps it, hits the pulverize on it, jabs, and they'll finish him off. On the side, Ollie hits a pretty nice freezing field with a razor coming in as well. A lot of heroes are low here. The axe pullback onto the primal beast means Lorinoff can take advantage of this. Yeah, he just him. needs enough. He's just going to follow him. Plasma field will finish him off in the end. Ame. You can maybe get some hits in on Q. Arrow lands. They'll get that kill. The combination. The ghoul frenzy orb of corrosion into the arrow. Hmm. I mean, you can go the Diffu route. I think Vanguard's pretty dead. Would have been something a long time ago. Yeah. I've seen some Vlad's builds. Can he get off Supernova? He tries to go for the dive first. And just that a boat dying like that. Does manage to get the infest before he's latched by the frostbite as the rage was running thin. It's going to hurricane somebody. Never mind. That would have been cool, though. It would have. And the anti mage is here, so you need to run. <laughs> run, oh. Crystal Maiden. That's her greatest strength. Running. Yes. A classic Crystal Maiden death. Uh, maybe. Yeah, the Razor counter against Lifestealer only goes for so long. XM gets the jump onto the Razor. They have the boat coming in, though. Can that protect Lorenoff long enough? The Supernova, they're trying to finish it off. They do manage to get it, but the Razor dies for it. Stone Gaze now out from 23 as he TPs in. They got the Frostbite onto Ame, and he's dead. A similar story to Lifestealers we've seen before, Avery. They do the Infest Bomb. He uses Rage to kill a hero, but then he has no way out of the team fight. Oh, XXS going for it here. Surprise. Down to half health. The mana void. I Not am the carry. Just yet. Now they jump onto him. Deuce is low. Hit Wait, that mana that void and it's a giant explosion, but XXS doesn't get it. A primal beast just runs him down instead. Quick blink into X, into haste room Blinking the onto him. Q trying to finish up XXS with magic Ooh. damage. That is a bold attempt and it will not work. Making his hero look very solid. 23 tries to hold the tower. Oh, the infested anti-mage. You don't see that every day. He jumps straight for 23, but the slows and the frostbite keep him at bay. All he's going to get run over here, no problem. But Jabs can get a return kill, perhaps. X pull back into the boat with Lornoff coming in. Lornoff, though, egg. has both the carries on him right now. Leashes onto the life stealer, so Ami has to back away. But that's enough space. It gets the primal beast out. The Razor not able to commit the way he wants to. Then we'll see if they go for wisdom. Or we'll smoke back. Are they going to try and get the lasso onto Life Stealer and blow him up? It looks like they almost they got can. got the stone freeze. Yeah, hey, Stone Gaze controls up all these heroes. Ame is getting run down so oh, easily. Yeah, Supernova, that is way too close to the entire team. Aurora take that out instantly. And XM is trying to trample his way out of this team fight. 23 just needs one more shot. Whips himself. A little flagellation to get him there. Doesn't get there in the end. But still, Aurora clean up three in that team fight. Really nice execution. Nothing you can do. I, I hate this talk. The push forward. You hate all taunts. That's right. What's Q gonna find? Oh, Jabs breaks that Lincolns. Now it's an opportunity, while that Lincolns is down, for Q to try and go for the lasso. Almost arrowed the courier. Staying within the ward sentry range. They see the AM, grab him immediately. He's Do they have enough good. burst damage? Not really. XM jumped in and did the pulverize. Immediately got Stone Gaze down. Now he's down to half health. Now the Supernova goes in. They're going to focus on it. That's and Sunray. he's so dead. The Sunray's doing a decent it's amount. The other carries are into the mix. They're on top of 23. It. 23, the Mana Void goes off. Not quite enough damage. What a beautiful torrent, though. XXS jumping for 23, who's now completely burned out the of mana. The Frostbite is stopping the him from so hitting much. 23. They're going back in on all of their cores, but they're all dying to commit to 23. He's somehow still alive. No mana. It's a problem. He'll die, but... They get four in return. Primal Beast almost died there as well. And see what Extreme does in return. I don't know if I... I mean, the split push play makes sense, but you gave Aurora a position around the pit, which is where their lineups are really happy. Arrow will help stun Roche. So Moonlight Shadow is going to be the answer, but they have all the vision in the world. Q 
queue, sees the heroes approaching, makes the run for it, doesn't actually hit the flame break, gets grabbed. He's fine though, he has BKB, Arrow comes out, actually hits the Dusa. Lasso's gonna pull back the Primal Beast, they're gonna start draining onto him. All that damage being soaked up, Lordoff getting bigger and bigger with the X pullback, they easily bring down that Primal Beast. Ame tries to get into the mix, but the Torrent Storm scares him back almost immediately. They stay outside of the range of the Supernova. I mean, you're gonna have to try and steal the Aegis here. It's only option. Uh, Team Lion getting a little vision. Ame getting into the pit now. Oh, he got onto the Dusa and blew her up so easily. Roshan's about to die. Who's going to get the agent? It's going to be DY who managed to pick it up. Lord off and Jabs. Jabs is going to be left behind. He ends up dying. The Phoenix does lose that Aegis. Chasing after him, exact excess, and he's got Ame inside of him right now, so he could definitely catch up to Lordoff, I think. Yeah, they're gonna catch him here. Can he get the one hit that he needs to slow him down? The there frenzy. it is. Cool frenzy slows him down, and they've got him dead. Aurora Huge thought they fight. had that, but XXS, how did he get into that pit and kill the Dusa so easily? They just don't have the damage to kill him quickly, so they are fully valuable. Want to micro that one? No? Okay. Except just charges into the trees, immediately pops. Lordoff is here on the front lines with the shield runes, so Arrow I don't think he's on 23. Of this one. Arrow is on 23, and the full duration. Oh, it's going to be a mana void. It's going to be a big one. He pops the BKB. doesn't actually quite die, and he managed to get off the stone gaze, too. Somehow they weren't able to execute him, and now they're able to turn around. AM is dead. Ami's trying to make his way back. You trying to get in there, but it's not going to work. They still have to back out, though. With 23 having no mana, and Lordoff no longer having his BKB, the XM Primal Beast is a terror. And he is beasting down Lordoff right now, trying to manage to dodge. It's not going to work for you. You can drain the damage, but it'll come eventually for you. A third hero in Ollie will close out the fight. A one for three exchange. Maybe they don't kill the Dusa, but it does break Aurora all the same. If I'm Aurora, I'm not opposed to Lincoln's break dragging this Lifestealer back. Yeah, if they want to siege it. I don't think that's a bad fight setup. We're going to try and protect him here, Lotus. Lotus and Lincoln's. How are you going to... Oh, XM is just in like that. My uh, God. This might be a little too manly. Now they're going to go ahead. Yeah, if he's going to dive in that deep, you could certainly last Never win. mind, he's literally a god. Yeah, Jesus, he is only down to half HP right now. Japs is still trying to chase after him. Now the supernova goes out. Ami's chasing after these heroes. Looks like XX has got to the Dusa. Pops his BKB, full sends it, and kills Dusa. And that kind of kills the team fight for Aurora. Doesn't matter if they're fighting into your tier fours, basically. No Dusa, no Batrider. No problem. They fed him the cheese as well, or he had it, so just insta refill. They're just gonna end the game. AC on the Marana. Yeah, why not? Why wow. not? Add a bit more armor to this front line. If XM was unkillable before, he is showing us he is indeed unkillable in this game. Well, if you have a buyback on the Bat Rider, you're going to need a, a, some sort of lasso and tidal wave into Fountain to be able to hold this one. You, you've waited so long. A little bit of pullback there. Nothing major. Throw down to half HP. They got to get in there soon. While Pulverize continues to slam down jabs. The rest of the team, Ami just laying lasso. into the throne. He says this game is all over for you, Aurora. That was... He just goes ham. If you run it off the... <laughs> Dude, is he, I, mean, I, mean, I mean, there is a point where the courier has to come in at the gate area, right? No, no, no. It can, it can go on the off the side of the map for the entire length. Ooh. ooh. You just have to manually do it. Mm. There's another courier. Alert. Who's courier? That? Oh, that's his. I'm getting... I'm getting messed up by this. Now he's going to make his presence felt. Surprise! Yeah, Jam's going to cut over, though. Scorch Earth is going out. He tries to hit the blast off, but the leap easily dodges it. They'll trade oh. out kills here. T.Y. gets the first blood first, though, thanks Dang. to the arrow landing. That was sick. That was really nice. A little boat action. And the monkey goes down. Exactly. You put him in a position where he has to react to the pressure you're creating. I like that Ollie is even exist. moving to the top side of the map sometimes here as the Tombstone is out to try and chase down D.Y. Ami! Little Zombie's chasing after him. They know where he's going, so the blast off does land. Ollie is in some trouble, and he'll die to the coil. 
thought about throwing out the Doom, but there's no real follow-up here. Land Actually, the landed the Torrent, so maybe they can do it now. Pull him back in. No. Close. I can't even confidently rotate down there to threaten the TB. He's going to need power runs, though. That's something. Not the greatest one, but... You get a DD or haste, you can make something happen. Ooh, nice play here off the vision. Blast off lands. Really well played. Ward is probably going to get uh, dewarded almost immediately, but well worth it if you kill the enemy carry. <laughs> and he cut the kobold. Later. So stupid. This is the dumbest <laughs> game play. <laughs> Jinkyu is such a talented player. I mean, he got him there, though. Yeah, he did. Oh, nice thunder usage. All he gets yeah. a chance to be able to get off the tombstone okay. with the Doom now being placed on the Mars. They can run down some heroes. Really heads up thunder play. Give XG nothing. As Jin Q watches on. <laughs> Look at this goddamn foyer just sitting there watching all the action go down. <laughs> Successful. You just had to have that courier, huh? I mean, what else is he doing in this game? I mean, Aurora have been really good at punishing this strategy, though. Ooh, nice little D-Ward. Oh, caught the vision barely. Really fast reaction there from Lordoff. Got the X onto the monkey thanks to the Torrent Vision. Nice little two-man connection to get the kill on the monkey once again. So toxic when he wins. It feels like you don't get to play Dota. It feels like you're just battling illusions. And then you're dead. There's smoke behind him right now. Extreme trying to make a play. Blink forward well, going on the nine. undying. See if they can burst him down. They got the TV underneath the arena and managed to hit him arrow. too. He does have a Sunder. Can he get it off? El Ame, he's in the mix. He can somehow find the real one. Throws it on illusion. That's good enough. Ame quickly deals with the tomb. So got hit by a blast off. Too much AoE damage. Where was his team? And I'll deliver it to him. <laughs> Okay. On a courier. Hey, 23 Savage has gone high ground and he's got That's an right. He's got Scotty. He's got a BKB being built, but he doesn't need it. Level 16. And he's getting the job done. Daring them to go on him right now, but Ame has other plans. Ame has creeps to slaughter. <laughs> Guys, I, I would make sure I have a good time. You know what I'm saying? Guys, watch, watch me. On me. On me. About to kill a courier. Oh, he got the spear back. No man's a dodge. Arrow. Didn't watch Into the BSJ. Into the command. Oh. 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 Nothing All right. happened. They have successfully kited this Wukong. As 23 just walks into the tail. Another end. one. Second spear Round back. Two. Into the arrow. Into the arrow once again. Now the puck is in the mix. Unfortunately, too many heals, so they can't commit to the kill. After all, he still has the edges for another 30 seconds. Use the sun to Big Boundless on two. <laughs> and another <laughs> spear, but he dodges no, that not one. not this time. Wind Waker back. That is a Wind Waker. Holy crap. Yeah, look at him. And the Phantom Lancer high ground defense is too much. They're going to try and turn with Coil. Is it time? Right, Lornoff is holding on to his BKB. He snapped it into the arrow. Oh, no, he snapped it, but they went on the Aegis. Was still, it was going to expire in like five seconds. Phantom Lancer players everywhere. Standing up right now. <laughs> don't just make <laughs> shit up now. Come on. <laughs> Octarine for Lornoff. So no Radiance, and they still don't have the Shivas? Another Courier about to die. This time it's Shinkyu. Wait. Trying to get away. The coil cannot protect him, though. This is not a base defense fight. This is yeah, you're way harder to take. I mean, they used a lot for it. If they only lose those two supports. Wexem gets out of there. Problem's going to be his 23 is just going to go for the high ground now that he's popped meta. And Ame will be waiting. <laughs> he's got to get out of the fountain first. Another spear back. They buy the Marana. Oh, oh that torrent! He jumped into a what? torrent! No way! Oh, that was an unbelievable read by Jabs. That was incredibly fortunate at the same time. Oh, that, that, was, that was a read, man. Another spear back? Another spear back, but there's no puck. They yeah, have no there's damage. No, there's no way to win this fight. 
How much are you gonna get out of this if you're Aurora? Jabs. Read him like a book. Hit him on the frame. Arrow Ooh. lands. Arrow. He's got BKB coming back up though. Beer back. Nice. Got the Kunkka again, but again, he has the BKB, so as soon as that stun wears off, they just don't have any burst damage, not without the puck. They actually back away. 30 seconds left on the puck. Cracks regardless here. Yeah, I think so. Lornoff even heads using the X to TP in. Yeah, really, that that's nice. Created a little extra pressure, accelerate that clock. And XG have to make a move. Running into some mines. He goes up on. for the Monkey King, and he found him. He's immediately going to be able to kill him. Drop is he? the Doom. What did he drop it on? I mean, okay, they do get the Monkey King in the end. Mars throws out the arena. Well, it caught on 23. Man, it's yeah, Amite gets hit by a torrent. So they're trying to find and the they real got the puck. Farm. Boat is coming in as well. So many AoE spells. Dodge a little bit, but he's been pushed back in. It's just too much, man. That it's Torrent Storm. Just ruins this Phantom Lancer in the fight, and they just call it GG and shit just Q. Like that. This they are getting jumped. They're gonna die. I do not enjoy that a lot. <laughs> High ground hold from Aurora. Oh, Ame. Okay. He knew. He knew. He's too Man, he's too good. Hurt. Reading you like a book. This guy's a good player. They're gonna still fight for it. You're smoked. Blade the smoke. The trap's been set. Disruption into not crush, instead into a bushwhack. The reverse X, X, trap. X. He does manage to get the crush off, and they manage to get the first blood onto Ollie instead. One for one trade up, but now Jab's gonna get low. That's gonna be a second kill going God, the way damn. of extreme gaming. All of that without their mid laner. It's a bloodbath. In that early mid game, though you do have Stampede to bail him out. Something to consider in those fights. Jabs really going for it. Ollie came out the wrong direction on the gate. He's going to drop the tombstone now, but he's not close enough to hit that decay, or is he? He's going to try and run him down. Hits the decay. It's not enough damage. Shred swapping for the one on oh, Ame. He's going back go in. And try and right click him to death, but Ame is tanking enough initially. Another decay, though, might do it. It does. What? Ame. That was very aggressive. Why did he go back? What is 23 doing here? Not sure. All he's going to join them. They're going to go for the kill on Ame because he teleported back in the lane. They want to just throw everything they have at him. So he has to do the walk of right. shame back. And nice with well. They will abuse Ame as much as possible here, and, and they get it out of him. That is a rough second death. Stampede running at him. Coil from behind. Beautiful sandwich from the team here. Oh, he gets popped like a grape. My God. That was so much damage. Yeah, if you're the puck, how do you even itemize against this? An AoE silence and a single target silence. It's gonna come back into the rim. They're gonna drop the tombstone to try and save him here. Lord off. He's okay for now and actually gets the coil in return. That's gonna lock down this void spirit. A little hard though. Stomp on to two. Buys the time for a retreat for most of these heroes, not for the undying though. Ollie will get popped like a grape. First item blink on Slarder, I think, is just the biggest bait. It doesn't do anything. And he has some setup, right? You got Swap, you got Purge. Look at this. It does got add him. in the much needed damage to finish off champs there. They wouldn't have gotten that kill otherwise. And Ollie from behind with that amp. Ooh. He hits hard. Slardar Terrorblade is always such a scary combo. Now 23 is getting run down at the same time on the other side of the map. Swap, Swap away goes from out. the blink target on the creep wave. Oh, and he's going to be able to get a jump away. That was not the swap you wanted it to be. He's early, you get it out. Maybe the Void Spear comes in at the right time. I really like that Slardar shard, by the way. I think that thing is... That thing feels amazing. Yeah, agreed. Oh... They spot him. Can they stop him in time? What? Oh. It's going to give an opening for Aurora if they can get the backstab here. But that Ag's got delivered. This is a hard target to fight into right now. Radiant yeah, I mean, they're going to be... Oh, oh both supports got spotted there. I mean, you start a team fight by killing nice both silence. backline of Extreme Gaming. That is perfect for you. Yep. You want to look for that every time. We'll see if XM goes in. And XM's of course he does. In. 
He hits the silence, doubles it up on the puck with the orc, and on top of that one, he is dead. The and they managed to get the undying too. Now this tombstone is still out. But oh, he does actually go for it. Nice thunder turnaround from Ame though. Returns the pleasure right back to 23, who made a nice thunder play last game. That was ambitious. Or Midas build, and you just spam ancients. I would expect it, but that is not what XX has, has done this game. He has been hunting. And he's going to kill Squirrel. This build has just worked really well. They came out ahead in lanes a little bit, got these snowball items, and have made them work. And now they have an 8k gold lead. Just to, do we see him going in this fight and, and killing somebody? With uh, disruption, with swap? Yeah, with if he, mech he on SD now. jump to the back line or something. Glimmer cape? I mean, you're about to lose this game in like the <laughs> next three minutes, man. Yeah, I mean, it's... If they really could have just run the Terror Blade up to the high ground this early, then yeah, you kind of do need that second item brooch. <laughs> and he may not even have it fast enough. They came to play in this game three. Look at this chase down. They're Ooh, going high Lord. ground. Look at the they... illusions. What do you do? A whole army of Terror Blades. This ain't no Phantom Lancer. Ame just said he wants to play another illusion hero. This one actually this one does stuff. <laughs> this one ends games rather than delays them. Rax down without a fight at 22.50. And they're not even done. What is the answer here, Aurora? The brooch is completed, but the Aegis is still up for 30 seconds. I mean, how... how Okay, he, he daggered the wrong thing. Another bushwhack miss. They get about Tombstone, but he got silenced. And he's gone. Can't get it off. XM has had his number. Another Rax. Butterfly deliver. He just running no out. Damage, man. You, and you like have to chase there, but you can't get it. And they're re goosing the smoke back. XM says, I'm not done. Just a blind jump in. Jumps the ghost. Yeah, that was because the the blur. They thought somebody broke their smoke on the left hand side. Not the case. I mean, the, half of these daggers aren't even landing. Disruptions, glimmer capes, Manta dodge. And when they do land, they look pitiful. Yeah, that did not do anything. That also did not really do anything. And a second lane at 24. Not even going to wait for the next Roche. Greaves done on Jin Q. They smoke just so everybody behind has a better position for when they try and stop Ame. How will they stop Ame, though? How can you jump into this? There's remnants all over the place. You don't have the poke to get them low. They're going to be pretty much full HP. Yeah, that arcane rune, he's just spamming remnants. Highest building damage. I am not surprised. He's about to mega them at 25. You got to jump into this maze and make something happen. Okay, a little opening. A lot of Atos into nothing. All there right, finally Jabs goes in. Immediate swap back on the Terror Blade, though. No chance to take him out of the fight. He can run forward, kill Jabs, and still has the Thunder to boot. They'll take the mega. There's the demon. nothing you could do to stop about it. They managed to get the grab on a 23 as he tried to jump in. The Remnant pulls him to his death. What a game from XG, honestly. Seriously, like, man. Where did this game come from? Radiance Just over. What? Well, if I've learned anything about Extreme Gaming today, it's that this team makes absolutely no sense to me.